I'm joined by Charles Myers, Chief Operating Officer of Equinix. So Charles, tell me, I mean, cloud services are becoming increasingly part of the IT infrastructure throughout the country. But can you give us an idea as to how fast that business is growing and the amount of real estate that's needed to kind of keep up with all that demand? I, I think, uh, you know, the short answer is, is that I think the, the cloud phenomenon that we're seeing is, is really a, uh, we think, a significant and durable source of incremental demand for the data center sector broadly and for Equinix specifically. Um, I think it includes, you know, we tend to think about it in terms of the supply side of the market, cloud service providers, which includes everybody from the hyperscalers on down to a very long tail of other cloud service providers um, that are driving demand for both wholesale and retail co-location. And then the demand side um, of the cloud market, which is really enterprises looking to access cloud services. And we see that, particularly at Equinix, as a very rich source of incremental demand, you know, I think for the foreseeable future. Tell us about your submarine cable projects. Submarine is a is in a, a fascinating area right now. There's being a more uh, capacity being added from a subsea capacity perspective than has been added in the last 20 years combined. Um, you know, just in this in the recent past, um, almost 50 projects out there uh, being invested in, uh, and uh, we're seeing that create a lot of demand in terms of people that are looking uh, to. Uh, terminate capacity into uh, various data centers uh, and really being driven by the cloud service providers. Um, and that's, uh, I think, a really a rich extension to, our, to the network ecosystems that live inside of Equinix. So looking at portfolio growth, I mean, do you see that being more uh, acquisitions or development in the near future? Yeah, you know, if you look at our history, uh, probably about 70% of our total CapEx allocated over time has been uh, oriented more towards uh, organic growth of our platform and development uh, and about 30% towards M&A. We continue to see M&A as a, as a key you know, vehicle for us in the appropriate circumstances, um, but I think you know, development is going to be our primary growth uh, lever um, and we'll, be, we'll be continue to be opportunistic where it makes sense for M&A. And Equinix won the leader in the Light Award this year in the data centers category. Tell us about the role that sustainability plays for a data center company like it. Yeah, well, first of all, you know, very proud of the team in terms of the effort they put in um, uh, for you know to, to earn the sustainability or the, the the award associated with our sustainability efforts. You know, we're putting a lot of emphasis on it first and foremost because we think it's the right thing to do. Uh, as a data center company, we feel like we've got a, a responsibility to you know grow the, our capacity in a in environmentally sus environmentally sustainable way um, and uh, so we've been putting a lot of effort into um, our, our green efforts so we've made a commitment to hundred percent renewable energy which we're making great progress towards um, and it's important in that you know our customers are also demanding it so not only is it the right thing to do but our customers are increasingly seeing it as something that's important to them and important to them when they're making decisions and and that's been uh, driving business to Equinix. Well Charles thank you so much for your time. Sure thank you. And for more on this and other real estate news and analysis, be sure to visit REIT.com.